Evergreen School District is uh, approximately 27,000 students in Vancouver, Washington. And Vancouver, Washington is a suburb of Portland, Oregon in a metropolitan area. We are a community that reflects the kind of the demographic communities of the state and about approximately half of our students are on free and reduced lunch. We have uh, four comprehensive high schools, six comprehensive middle schools, and 20 elementary schools. Our understanding of what online education or computer-assisted education or technology-based education um, has evolved and, and what it's allowed us to do. So we started with a virtual experience, moved to blended learning experience, and then started moving to really kind of designer experiences, ones in which um, the individualized instruction mattered because the population that which we were serving were very unique in terms of what we were trying to accomplish. So that's where we went from the virtual school to blended school to parent partnerships to world language to credit recovery. So it really allowed us as the expansion of really the menu of options we could explore. We have uh, over 2,000 students that participate in, in some sort of online experience for us. The Evergreen School District has always believed in providing a high quality education for all students. And we know that it may not necessarily work well for them to be in a typical building atmosphere. So the district actually provides a lot of different alternative programs. And we really try to provide students the opportunity to be able to have that authentic learning experience and not fall through the cracks like unfortunately so many students do when a building typical traditional style format doesn't work for them. I love that online education gives you an opportunity to have a really flexible schedule. I also go to the Skill Center, I'm in the criminal justice program and I decided that once I got into that program it would be so much easier if all of my classes were not in such a, a structured time block that I could actually um, move around and, and do things one day and then come home and do my online work the other day. So I, I chose it for flexibility. So I teach middle school language arts and it really provides students a great opportunity to be able to learn the content area effectively online where they have the learning management system with the curriculum where they have the flexibility to be able to learn at any point during the day that they would like to depending on what kind of particular schedule that they have. So students really enjoy that flexibility. Above everything else, the best part of being an online student was how much help I got and how much individual time I had with the teacher and how involved they were in my school work. At Gila High, one thing we realized was that given a small school, we couldn't offer all the classes in the full course catalog that our other comprehensive high schools could offer. So we decided to offer a virtual option for students. So in the brick and mortar classes, our kids can take Spanish and American Sign Language as that component to graduate. We wanted to offer them French, German, Chinese also so that they could keep going with what they really wanted to do and not constrict them to just the offerings we could have in the brick and mortar. By the time I graduate, I want to have four years of Chinese in. So basically starting right now, which I am in 10th grade, I'm a sophomore, uh, throughout my journey here at Gila, I want to continue taking this online course so I could be proficient and almost fluent in Mandarin Chinese. Students like having the options of taking the online courses. They like to be able to continue with that one language they really wanted to do. Or if they don't have room in their schedule for a certain class, then the online course gives them some options to take it after school. They can do it and expand their classes past what they could do in the brick and mortar. Flex Academy is actually a partnership between parents and teachers. And the lovely thing about it is, is that this is a program for parents who want some control over when their child learns, um, how they learn, but they want the support of perhaps a state adopted or district adopted curriculum uh, so that their children will be able to graduate from high school being able to know the Common Core standards and to have passed all of the state exams that they need to in order to earn a diploma. My son is a six-year-old boy who um, started coming to Evergreen Flex Academy as a kindergartner. He's now in first grade. 
This program works well for us because there's many different styles of learning. They have amazing textbooks, great hands-on manipulatives, they have CDs that go along with the curriculum. We also really enjoy coming in, seeing the teacher. She's very supportive. There's a solid foundation and a learning plan and that I know that I'm teaching my child what's going to be expected of him for passing uh, state tests and for going to college and that's really important to me. I believe the program works for our students because it allows a great partnership between families and our classroom. Families have more control of their child's education, um, more one-on-one -on -one learning goes on at home and here at school we have smaller classrooms which allows for more individualized attention, gives them more opportunities for the socialization and the creativity while keeping families involved. I think that Evergreen offers this because homeschooling has become huge. There's so many people that want quality education for their children. But through this program, there's smaller classroom sizes, your child gets more one-on-one -on -one attention by working with you, and I think that Evergreen chose this because they want to make sure that parents who homeschool have some guidelines, some support, and that parents feel like they can do this. And I think it's a great program. So Evergreen Public Schools uh, created the World Language Program at all the middle schools in the district as a way to provide additional opportunities to students. We don't have world language teachers uh, in the middle schools uh, and it was definitely a, a want of the communities and of the school districts to give those kids an opportunity to do that. Our superintendent John Dieter and our director of secondary education Ted Veller um, are always looking at ways to advance students and provide acceleration opportunities. Um, this was a great way to provide uh, high school credit to students in the middle schools and give them that chance to accelerate their learning. The students are taking Chinese, French, German, and Spanish. They come into class each day for first and second period here at Cascade and they log into their coursework and they begin to work on their lessons. When I finish middle school in June and I have like high school credits before I even enter high school, that's like really, really great because then I get ahead and like I only have to take another like Spanish two in high school. So in that, and I'll be a freshman. The biggest challenge we were looking to solve is to provide additional opportunities to students. We don't have a lot of offerings. We're limited by size and scope that we can provide teachers for. Uh, and this was a way for us to provide multiple language opportunities um, that wouldn't be possible. To have four languages in one class with 30 kids is a huge advantage. The success that students are experiencing is, is beating all expectations. Um, we do provide credit, so it's a very rigorous high school course. Um, it's an advanced course, um, and students that leave here need to prove proficiency in order to continue on. Of the 60 kids last year that took the class, none of them dropped and all of them received the high school credit for that and then enrolled in their, um, the next course, the consecutive course in the high school. Um, and some are looking at AP World Languages. The Academy is an alternative school within the high school here at Union. And it's a school, or a part of the school, that provides a non-traditional learning environment for students who are either credit deficient or who, for emotional or social needs, require a more caring or smaller learning environment. What we do is we kind of center the academy within a community classroom, which is their English class, and it's for juniors and seniors. And then, aside from that, they're able to take online classes, uh, credit recovery classes, to you know stay on pace for graduation. The thing I like most about being an academy student is, I mean, we're one big happy family. They look out for us, we look out for them. If we need help, either online courses or in class work, they help us out. I think the credit recovery program is really saving them. It's giving them a chance to make up for mistakes that they've made in the past. As they grow up and change and grow, it gives them a chance to 
become who they want to be. Specifically at Union High School, they have their alternative program which they call the, the Academy. And when the school board asked the principal about what was attesting to such a high graduation rate, because I believe it was 96%, which was within the top two or three graduation rates within the state, he attested to the graduation rate directly to the academy and the usage of our individualized instruction that we use through our uh, technology-based instruction. And what I like most about it is that I like to like, you know, I get to catch up and I get to like recover all that I've missed and it helps me out on like being able to graduate and I it's an awesome opportunity. If you looked at how what online education does for us as a district it does solve two major um, issues for us and one problem is individualized instruction for all students to be able to meet the diverse needs of students and so that, that ability for to have one-on-one -on -one instruction in all areas it really helps us. Right now, we're in a place where wherever the problem lies the most, we've accessed online education to address those problems. I think students like online learning because it's flexible in design. Students are able to access it, in most cases, at different times during the day. They still have high expectations to um, attend class, but it is more flexible for them. Pond5.com. I want to go to college and go possibly to Clark and study dental assistant or a dental hygienist, I believe Pond5 it is, and see how that goes. Another big area that it helps us do is really prepare students to act and operate and think and learn in the 21st century. And so those skills and abilities that they have are essential as they move on to four-year universities or the world of work. I want to get a master's degree in global development and justice. And then after that, I plan to work for the sheriff's office. And uh, they'll send me off to police academy and I hope to become a sheriff's deputy. We're looking at ways we can design uh, teaching and learning to meet the needs of our community. And the partnership with Fuel is, is we talk about what we want to try to accomplish and they build service models around what we want to try to accomplish. So instead of handing us programs and say this is what we can do for you, they listen to what we need and work with us to build uh, a program that meets the needs of the district which ultimately will meet the needs of the community. I definitely want to move on to be a doctor and uh, a trauma surgeon and I would just love to be able to help people and move on to make discoveries and do great things.